If you have an idea for a dream game, you should make that game first. There is no sense in dallying and wasting time with other projects, when that time could otherwise be put toward your magnum opus, some gigantic and impressive project that will inscribe your name into the annals of artistic history. Many plebeians and gobfuckers whittle away their weeks and years, making numerous small projects and failing to make millions off of some grand vision, like a science-based dragon MMO or something similarly revolutionary. You must follow your gut on this matter and go big or go to hell. For the time when your game is incomplete, show it to nobody. Presenting it to the public or to friends for consideration will lead to two problems. First, they do not understand your artistic vision, for it has not yet metamorphosized into its final form under your careful watch. Thus, their ignorant and uninformed minds will seek only to critique and ridicule the work without so much as a shred of understanding of the greater whole. Their words are like poison to your motivation and serve only to slow you down and stop your vision from reaching fruition. Secondarily, these so-called playtesters will suggest things that they call improvements. Do not be taken by their lies. No improving is happening here at all. Again, they fail to understand your vision and so will make suggestions that run counter to it. If you make the mistake of allowing the unwashed masses to play your game before it is complete, then you must allow all of their suggestions of sabotage to pass over you harmlessly. Close your ears to them and their barbed words. On the matter of unwashed masses, you should at all costs avoid allowing any others to help make this game. They too do not understand the glorious art that you are trying to make. Only you are capable of making the music perfectly right. Only you know what the ideal vocal performance is. Only you can wield the pen to bring to life the necessary images to make this dream come true. If you make the mistake of summoning others to do work, do not under any circumstances pay them. Offering money will bring forth the brutes and philistines, those who are not true artists but charlatans, who circle you like piranhas searching for a quick payout. Do not bait them, or they will rise from the murky waters and bite off your fingers forevermore. It is often said that there is no best game engine, and this advice is true, they all stink. If you want to create a game well, you should write it in assembly. This will allow you the maximum possible control over how your glorious and pristine concept will be realized leaving nothing to the mysterious black boxes of modern game engines and programming languages. Be wary of beginning to make your game with no plan. Each and every conceivable detail should be writ on physical or digital paper before even the first scrap of code is committed to the screen. No rock or pebble should be unaccounted for. At the beginning of development, it's a schoolboy error to let that kind of uncertainty Taint your brilliant creative process. You have learned this day to avoid many of the common pitfalls and traps in game development. You will now be able to resist the sabotage of other people and of uncertainty. You will be immune to the mistake of using a game engine or making a small, unambitious project. All of this added productivity and fruitfulness. And what did this cost you? 80% of your profits from all sources. Don't make me don't make me hunt you down to claim what I'm owed.